Hey, what's up, Brief versus Molina fam again here with another video. I know it's been a while since I uh, since I posted a video. It's been about two months, but been real busy during the summertime. Had a little vacation out with the family and stuff, but we're back. All right, we're back to shoot some videos again and stuff. And I just want to thank everyone for uh, the support, watching our videos, liking, commenting on, on our videos, and uh, thank you guys for uh, for uh, subscribing to our channel. Molina fam reef. Thanks you guys. All right, but we're back here. We are again All right, we're in the garage as you guys can see we've had a lot of growth All right, and uh, a bunch of these pieces uh, Remember guys, we still got that uh, giveaway that five pack um, Five pack coral giveaway. Yeah, they're the beginner pieces, but they'll make a great addition to any tank All right, once we hit that 500 mark, I won't forget to um, give away that uh, five pack of corals, all right guys, but as you guys can see, everything's doing good here in the, uh, one of the frag tanks. This is a 60 breeder, all right? Everything's doing great, a lot of growth. Let's move along here, all right? You guys can see the, the Montes, how good they're looking. All right, and uh, they're under uh, Biperspectra, all right? So anybody that says black boxes can't grow uh, coral, absolutely wrong. All right. SPS, beautiful coral here. Another one in the back, forgot the name of that one. But everything's doing great. Everything's doing good, everything's growing. Here again, <clears throat> I'll have a video updating you guys on the on the flies and lights and how they're doing. This one, I'm just running blues. There's nothing wrong with it. Everything works. Let me show you guys. Everything's working on them. I just don't run them. I don't run them as much. I just want the blues on it. All right. I'll have an update. I have these lights for about going on a year or two, and they've been doing great. You guys could go back on my older videos and see um, see how these corals were a lot smaller and how they've been growing out under these lights. All right. So for a beginner, and if you're in a budget, these lights will be great for you. They will grow coral and uh, you'll have a nice looking tank under them. Look at everything here, it's doing awesome. The sump's been doing its thing. It's um, the end of summer here now and uh, the chillers aren't running. All right, everything in the garage keeps it at 78 degrees. Got uh, some reagents I gotta top off on my Trident. I'm just running the alkalinity test for right now, which isn't bad. That's uh, one of the most important uh, elements to test for. So I haven't uh, really gotten into the rush to go buying the calcium and magnesium uh, reagents. I just, I'm gonna run out of the alkalinity, then I'll go ahead and purchase a six month uh, supply again. Keep on going on the 75. Everything's doing good. This tank, for some reason, I've been having a lot of nutrients is nutrient issues in the tank. Uh, a lot of dinos in here, a lot of red slime algae. And um, the powder blue tank got an appetite for eating up snails, flipping them over, biting them up and uh, killing them. So I had about almost 15, um, 10 turbo snails in here and uh, about eight or nine of the smaller uh, snails. I forget the name of them. And uh, he chopped them all up, all right? That one's dead. That one's flipped over. Look at that one down there, it's flipped over as well. Uh, I've been feeding them a lot of the seaweed a lot of meaty foods, uh, a lot of uh, brine shrimp and stuff, and he's just got an appetite for them and it just takes him down. 
Uh, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'll relocate him to another tank and kind of go uh, and chop some of the algae. He picks off off the rock a lot, but he still uh, manages to eat up all the snails that I put in here. Uh, I have a, a foul fish in here now. Uh, he's been doing a great job eating up a lot of the Aptasia. I've seen him eat Aptasia and uh, he's doing a great job, but I don't know if he's going for the bigger ones. I have bigger ones here and uh, he doesn't eat them up. So maybe I'll get a little bit of that Joe's juice and uh, sting him a little bit and uh, get those uh, out of the way. But the smaller ones, I've noticed that uh, used to be a lot of smaller ones and they're not there anymore. A bunch of the smaller ones are gone. Other than that, this is the only tank giving me issues. They're all connected to the same sump. They all have the same drop and they're all pushed up through the same pump. And uh, the 75 is the only one giving me issues right now, but we'll get that taken care of. Now that we got a little bit of uh, time in our hands, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, resolve that issue. Um, if tap water was the issue, I'll have a lot of that red slime and a lot of bunch of that ugly algae in these tanks. And I don't have anything in this one. All right, but as we know in this hobby, every tank, every tank is different. Even though they're connected to the same sump, uh, the tanks just take a life of their own and you know create their own little world inside of them. So. This is the only tank giving me the issue. Maybe uh, I'll go ahead and uh, cut it off for a bit, run some red slime, uh, that red slime, uh, I forget the name of it, but to kind of kill some of that algae. Or I'll just go ahead and uh, buy more snails and maybe uh, the blue powder tank got us filled with the snails and uh, we'll go ahead and try it again. I'll keep you guys posted and updated on what uh, keeps going on with him and uh, eating the snails. But for now, this is what we have. You guys can see I've gotten growth on a, a lot of these pieces here. Some are a little bit of uh, faster growers than other and some are a little bit slower, but everything's growing and doing good, all right? The skimmer, everything's been running great. You guys can see all the skimming I've been uh, taking out of uh, the tank. guys got any questions comments let me know I do run tap water I do run tap water on these tanks any nothing fancy uh, maybe later on down the line I'll run RO just as a top off but I try to minimize and not do any water changes just let the tanks do their thing and take a life on their own I do those uh, trace elements I do the sea cam trace and uh, I do those um, the aqua vitro uh, let me show you guys quick aqua vitro fuel all right i do those the fuel i'm gonna go ahead and dose them i'll show you guys how i do that real quick let me open this real quick all right guys for then so i just go ahead and shake it up and then just Pour it into the tank like that and I'll just let that run into the system same thing here I don't really measure about it and uh, just let it do its thing I try not to dose the 75 because of the algae issues I've have I've noticed that when I dose it or I hit it with a little bit of uh, aminos or when I do the um, when I do uh, where is it where is it the powder food the refroids I kind of get a little bit more of a dinos and stuff in that tank I'm just not gonna do do anything with that I'm just gonna try to run the UV and uh, see if I can kill a bunch of those that stuff and uh, get more snails hopefully the like I said the powder blue been been munching them down but yeah, guys, that's what's going on. A lot of growth with the corals. Thank you guys again for watching, subscribing, and um, Molina Fam out. Till next time, peace.